morning. So today we are going to be continuing our series on blogs. It is the absolute last day. Um, every single morning, Monday through Friday, I'm going live here on TikTok to answer some questions that, uh, that everybody seems to ask about their businesses. And every week we'll have a different focus. So we're finishing up our focus on blogs. Next week, we'll be talking about something different. Be sure to comment and let me know if you're here with me live. Don't forget to like and follow as well, whatever platform you're on. If you're not following me on TikTok, make sure you hop over to TikTok so that you can see these live videos a week or two before they're posted on other platforms. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into today's question. Today's question is, how long should blogs be for SEO? For those of you who don't know, SEO stands for Search Engine Optimization. And basically, it's using the right keywords and where to put them and lots of things in order to get search engines to actually find you and refer people to you. So how long should a blog be to make it so search engines actually will send people to you for answers for, so in other words, for SEO. So I have um, two answers to this. So number one, if your blog is too short, you may not give readers enough information for them to actually continue reading. And Google is going to be watching when they refer people to you to see if people find your article to be useful. So we want to make sure that you give them enough information for Google to say, okay, yes, this is actually something that people are finding useful. They're staying on the page for a certain amount of time. On the other hand, <clears throat> when you make something too long, it has a tendency to feel like you're repeating yourself, like you're rambling. And this can also cause you to lose your audience and hurt your rankings. So you need something in the middle, not too short, not too long. And so that's what it is that we're looking for when it comes to our blog length. So <clears throat> we don't want to hurt our rankings. We want to make sure we're in between the two of them. And um, so in order to give you an actual number, I went ahead and did some research to see what um, research someone else has done. And in 2020, Backlinko did a, a experiment, um, did a research study. And they stated that 1,447 words seemed to be the top position in Google. So all of the articles that showed in the top position in Google had an average of 1,447 words. So around 1,500. Um, now that's according to the search results page. So for those of you who don't know, that's the list of the order of what shows on Google. So they're saying that the one in the top spot was around 1447. So that's what they're basing this idea off of, which we want to show in the top spots. This is probably a really good way to determine how long blog posts should be for SEO. Buffer has also done a study. Buffer study said that it was around 1600 words. WESFD also did a study and they said it should be around 1600 words. And then the search engine journal said it should be around 1900 words. So these numbers are slightly different. So we've got 1447, 1600, 1600, and 1900. Uh, so somewhere in that ballpark between 1400 and 1900 seems to be the sweet spot, according to all of the experts. So if you're joining me today, this is our last day about blogging, and we're talking about how long your blog articles should be. And according to four of the top experts in this industry, they should be between 1400 and 1900 words. So I hope that you find that useful information. Definitely comment, let me know if there's a specific topic you'd like me to cover next, if you have any questions, thoughts, concerns about blogs, and I hope to see you on Monday where we'll be starting a brand new topic. If you join me live, thank you so much. If you're watching this video, don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe. I will talk to you guys soon.